Big thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Guess who's home? Um, I'm back home in Switzerland for a little bit. Not sure. We'll keep you guys updated. Yeah, how are you guys? How's everybody? Oh my god, it has been a really weird feeling being back here. There's so much transformation that has happened in my life while I was in South Africa that it almost felt like walking into a stranger's home. I don't know if anyone has ever felt that, like coming back after maybe not a holiday, but maybe, or like a longer period away. So it's felt weird, but I feel really home here too. And I like, it's really cozy and cute and it is pretty cold outside, but um, this apartment is really cozy. So it makes it really nice. And uh, yeah, I started my morning with like 20 minutes of meditation it was so dark this morning until like seven and I woke up at like six so I meditated and read. I started reading a book that is really going to help me so much in this phase of my life. I'm going to share it with you. And then I did some dancing and movement and yoga and that felt really good because my body has been so stiff since the flight yesterday and my lower back was really hurting so it's felt good to just like move everything a little bit and yeah right now I'm just gonna shower and get ready for the day and get lost in all of this unpacking organizing <sighs> situation and run a few errands and I'll take you guys along for this weekend together at home with me alone um, it's gonna be lovely. It is gonna be really lovely and the weather today is really nice. So yeah, very grateful to be here and be able to come back to a place like and everything is like clean and yeah, I just feel really grateful for that. I'm showing you this side of my office because this side No comments. <laughs> it's such a big mess. There's all my, my suitcase still full and the parcel that I opened last night. I already brought some cardboard boxes to be recycled, but I have a whole pile over here as well. Um, I went to the store to pick up the packages. open this one. Maybe it's not supposed to be open like that. No, it's supposed to be. Oh, it's supposed to be that way. I could have tried hard. This is some stuff from Anna Luisa, which I will be working with in a couple weeks on a video. It's also the company I worked with 
to create these hoops which are called the Kian hoops on their website and you can go and get them. Yeah, I wear them every single day. I don't take them off. They're super comfy and light, but you still like see them. And um, there's actually a, a friend that I met in Cape Town that had was wearing the pair and I was like, oh my God, are you wearing the earrings? And it was the first time that I was seeing someone like wear them, um, like in real life. Uh, other than me and it just it just warmed my heart so if you got them or if you are getting them like if you do post a photo uh, which of course helps a lot um, and I would be super thankful for make sure you tag me and make sure you tag the brand so that I can see um, and repost also I also made green smoothie which has like some sort of like protein superfood blend powder that I put in it mm. and it has peanut butter banana and pear and it's really delicious I was like what am I gonna make for breakfast like I'm gonna actually have to start cooking again because in Cape Town I was eating out not every single meal but like at least once a day usually about once a day I just got home and there's no food in my home, so my mom brought me a little bit of fruit last night. Mmm! This is perfect. What should I do next? I'm gonna unpack my suitcase right now. I'm gonna put aside all the clothes that I wanna sell or donate, and I think I might like all pack, pack them all in the suitcase. Yeah, that's the plan right now. I'm trying to see what's the best way to go about it, you know? share this with you. In Cape Town, um, a friend of mine called Nish, which is actually the first person that I, one of the first person, one of the, she's one of the first people that I met in Cape Town basically. And during lockdown last year, she started her own little ethical label or like conscious label and she gifted me a set. Um, it's called Nish Capsule, the brand, and it's so pretty. I'm so sad I won't get to wear this much in the next couple months that I'm gonna be in Switzerland, but um, this is all like very heavy, thick linen, so it's not see-through. Um, very pretty, very breathable. It's all made in South Africa, so and then it comes with a wrapped skirt and a pair of shorts. This is actually a three pieces set, which is so cool. And I know these are types of pieces that like are so um, high quality and beautiful basics that like you can wear them as a set, but you can also totally wear them with like a t-shirt from another color, or, like a white blouse or so it's really, really nice, and I'm just super beyond grateful. I don't know if you're gonna be watching this niche, but I just wanted to say thank you again because this really means a lot, and it's it just makes me so happy when friends of mine like do things like this. It's so cool. So yeah, I really love it, and I can't wait to go somewhere warm to wear it. Okay, I just realized it wasn't recording, so here we are, it is recording. I am having, taking a break, I'm having some lunch, and I just warmed up a plate of 
noodle like pad thai thing that I had made this summer and didn't finish so I froze it and it comes in so handy in days like this or weekends like this so I was just able to warm it up and there we go have a good home cooked meal for lunch and I also started reading this book this morning which I've talked about before um it's minimal how to simplify your life and live sustainably by madeline olivia i feel like it's gonna help me a lot in um just minimizing my belonging and just like being more mindful of what i own so very a lot of good tips so far and some breakfast it's a very green smoothie bowl with whatever i had left in the freezer went on a pretty long run with my friend chloe how long was a run almost an hour and a half and i could keep on pretty well although i didn't really do any road running and just a little bit of trail running when I was in South Africa, but I felt really good. Good morning everybody. I am going to start my week organizing my office space. This is the area which I didn't do this weekend and it's a mess and I have 
mail that has piled up over the last three months, which has been open, but not excited about the mail, but I'm really excited about clearing up that space so I can start getting back into work and just this room can feel, I was gonna say free, but <laughs> just like peaceful and calm and organized, right? That's the best way to start the week. gifts for Christmas because I know how overwhelming this time of the year can be and I don't know about you guys but yeah just all the gift giving I just think is so unnecessary we all have way too much and yeah unless you really need something I think it's just offering a gift just for the sake of offering a gift because it's Christmas it doesn't really make sense to me so I'm trying to find things that are like are going to be useful at least and I'm a huge fan of Christmas lists because I think like at least if people know what they want or need then you're actually getting them something that they're going to use you know and they're going to be happy about and I'm just like settling back into work like kind of planning everything out seeing if I want to start continue like doing my videos on my French channel and how much and what type of topics I really want to make like a book video on my French channel but if you guys want to see like a book update on here I am more than happy to do that as well so let me know in the comments but I've been reading so much lately and really awesome books so I'd love to chat more about them um but usually i put all of my book updates every now and then every season or so i do a book update on my website so if you're interested you can go check it out i'll put a link down in the description my website was created with squarespace who is the sponsor of today's video you guys know i've been working with them for a long time and i have been using their platform to create my own page it has been so great so easy uh so enjoyable i actually have some like film photos that i developed in south africa that i might want to upload on there and it's just such a great place for me to create content to share things that i don't share anywhere else and also just to group all of my different platforms and projects so on my squarespace website you can find my instagram my youtube my podcast even my spotify playlists so there's a whole bunch of things and then along with some articles recently on instagram someone asked me about like my favorite cafes and restaurants in cape town and i did a blog post about that so and if you have a project um, and you need a web page for it consider squarespace give it a try you can get a free trial at squarespace.com and with that you can like try it out and like set up a whole website and theme and everything and see if you like it and if you do and want to launch your own website you can go to squarespace.com slash chloekian and that link will offer you guys a 10% off on your website or a domain so all the information will be down below and thank you again for Squarespace for sponsoring this portion of the video I also want to try to plan a little bit right now more of what type of content you guys want to see in the upcoming weeks and months um i'm gonna be in switzerland now for a couple months so yeah what do you want to see while i'm here do you want me to vlog um the whole process of being here and winter adventures and i'm also planning on moving out of this place so do you want to see like get organized 
type of videos like get my life together um like productive week in the life more creative videos about my thoughts or just like very raw and edited vlogs yeah if you have any ideas any recommendations let me know down in the comments because i'm taking notes right now and i'm planning the upcoming videos Ouch. hello good morning um i'm making lunch it's half past noon and guess what i've done everything that i wanted to do today that was on my list so i get either free time or time to do other things took me like 10 minutes to make if even probably less if I was more focused and I used I used these noodles black rice noodles which I order on katsudomi there's a link in the description let's eat shall we um it might be a little salty. Hopefully not too much. I used sesame oil as well. I probably have sesame seeds all over my teeth. So, one sec. This afternoon, my mom and I are going on a walk. I'm really excited. I saw her shortly on Friday when I arrived she picked me up at the airport, and so we had the car ride together. I'm really excited to spend some time with her. And tonight I'm having some raclette, which is typical Swiss food. It's like basically melted cheese on potatoes. And I'm probably going to have the vegan version of that, or sometimes I just have tomato sauce with the potatoes. I've been missing, like trails and hikes since I've been back because I was doing this so much when I was in Cape Town and I was so close to the hikes and everything and here like I have to take the car to get there so really happy that I get to pick up my car today and um, then it's supposed to snow so I'll have to like make an appointment for winter tires because I still have summer tires in my car so I'm reorganizing reorganizing the living room because Ross has been working there in the corner and it's actually pretty nice because when you sit there there's the window right there and then you see outside um, it's just a little bit like you're a bit in the corner but I think I mean it's not so bad but I have to like remove this lamp because it's too much I did try putting the desk in that corner here, but there's no plugs. It's actually less bright. It's even more like dark. So I think I'm gonna keep it there and then we'll see when he comes. But I'm gonna put the lamp on that side here and see what it looks like. This is what this is what this looks like over here. This is what it looks like on this side, so I'm gonna Reorganize that corner there. Let's put this there. Where is this? Oh yeah, it could work.
this over here. This here. It's definitely okay. It's just the thing that I usually read in this area of the room at night. I don't know if this light will be powerful enough to light up this area here. But we'll see. I guess it will be a mystery. So we'll try. Hey, I'm back home. It's pretty late. It's like, well, late for me, so it's like barely 10 p.m. Um, I had a great night at my parents and I got to see my brother as well. I went on a really nice walk in that forest with my mom and it was like all dead leaves and just so pretty and just like this very like fall smell and feeling, you know, it was a bit foggy and gloomy, but all the trees were so like orange and red. Um, it was really nice. I'm so happy we went on that walk. Um, I'm going to end this vlog here. Thank you so much for watching and sticking along in this transition yet again. I hope you're enjoying the vlogs. I think I'm going to continue doing them and I'll see you next week. Bye!